good an example. I got this pretty good sized food plot, over four acres all the way around here. And it's flat and open. And there's a flat grass field over here during hunting season. If I'm back here, set up, somebody rides their four wheel across that field or anything, I could have 30 deer around me and they'll spook because they can see them. So, that's a quick idea. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but we'll watch it. Plus, we have less of adequate weather. And sorghum, which is a type of sorghum, hates being that damp. But I went clear down the bottom there. Filled that draw, round up it all the way up, and came back up and had some right there. And they're rolling all along here. It's a green screen. You can see it going, coming up all over. And I went right over the top of that hill. If this stuff works out, it'll, you know, it's supposed to get up to 14 feet tall. I don't know. If it gets six feet tall, it'll be better than nothing. Because when you look out over there, you can see right into my part one part of my food plot. And it goes clear down over that hill. And you can see it growing down there. I got some good cover up here too, but like I said, we're right at 30 days in, give or take a few days for different parts of my planting procedure. And then there's my food plot. Part of it from this side anyway. It runs to the right and way down to the left. All right. This is all coming along. This is all Alpha Rack Plus from Whitetail Institute. <clears throat> Looks better when you're looking down at it from the uphill. I am gonna, sorry about my shaky hands. I am gonna uh, do some more seeding on this. I'm just gonna throw it on top of the soil. Well, we got a rainy week coming up, and that's all surrounded by power plant on the outside. This one here, I was mistaken. I made this trail through here. I call it the crack because it's crack between two fields, and I put a little jog in it. Man-made, but it's heavy, heavy deer traffic area. I had a meet in his, uh, I believe this is Antler King, and it's a clover with rapeseed in it. And the rapeseed is supposed to flower out, I believe, and cover up the clover so the deer don't eat the clover so much. But yeah, it pops right up and comes up pretty hardy, but it's mostly rapeseed to me, it looks like. I don't know. I could be wrong, but. If that's the case, it'll grow this year and it won't come back next year. So I may be putting something else in here. Yeah, it's nice and heavy right now, but I mean, just for being a month old, I mean, look at some of the, some of the leaves. But heck, them clover. My thoughts are on that. I'll have to look that up more. <clears throat> I had two little extra bags of seed. I put one here and one on that back corner back there. So you can see the deer been in here. I got them on camera in here eating this stuff already, but heck, they're eating everything. We're gonna head on up over the hill after I change this card out. So this is what happens here in southern Iowa. You go from having all kinds of rain. Here there's the mud or the ground's cracking up on you. I have the best soil. 
but you do with what you can. Leastwise in this area. And then this line right here, you can see pretty distinct. It goes from Alpha Rack Plus, where it was holding water, into uh, Antler King, I believe. So that would be rapeseed again. And I thought it was rapeseed and clover. And it's just this little section right down to that bottom. And it curves right out. I mean, it pops out big. Like I said, that'd be something that'll die off in the summer. There's a decent breeze out here, but it seems like everywhere you go, you're walking uphill. This is where I put the chufa. I'm gonna have to investigate this chufa some. See if I know what it looks like, but it's growing. Turns her into a like a nut underneath for the turkeys. I don't sure, but Viewfinder said that got sunny out here. I got a lot of that plant growing, so it's either a weed problem or chufa. Oh, the point rain. I've never had it planted. There's also another plant in there that's kind of crowned it. I disc all this and sprayed it twice, but still didn't get killed off quite as good as I wanted to. This area, look at how cracked it is. This was the lettuce day. This is real thick with turkeys. They come off that ridge there, roosting and, and deer. This is so wet, I can hardly get the daggone seed in the ground down here. <clears throat> or disc up, not when I planted the seed, I guess. But sometimes you gotta work when you can, and this ground was all virgin ground. Nothing's ever been planted out here till this year, anywhere. I had to bush hog this whole thing, briar patch, and you can see some stumps still around here. Sticks, I used a rake on it with a pack of my Kubota. There's the other side of that crack. Yeah, that's grown in. Now this whole side over here is a completely power plant. It seemed like that wasn't wanting to do very good in the real wet weather, so I don't know. I have, you know, that little batch right there. I like to see the got through one spot. And it's popping up, you know, throughout the hill. It's not what I'd like to see. I looked on the internet and in two weeks, the guy had a power plant up to his waist. He either got magic seeds or I'm sure my, my weather didn't cut, help anything, but to the normal guy, you know, you see these guys making these food plot tapes and a lot of them are doing it for a seed company. And <clears throat> they put some seed in there in two weeks and they can't hardly see out of it. Well, in the real world, that may not happen. You may work yourself to the bone and put a lot of lime and fertilizer and check everything. And Mother Nature might come in and have a different idea. And then even under perfect conditions, you know, you may not get what they say they're getting. Sometimes I don't know how they get to that point, but <clears throat> who knows? I guess when you're selling a product, it's a little different than when you're just using them on and trying to let the next guy know what you're using. 
Now this back here should just be white tail clover. This, a lot of this didn't take it here. It's some real small stuff. Up there more. It's around, it's it's still small. Deer track. Now it did take back here in the shade more. It's well more drained back here. <laughs> God, they're loving this area. <clears throat> this is kind of a ridge. See what he looks like. It's all coming up. We start getting some light rain, it'll keep growing. I may oversee it again. We'll head back to my other one of my other food plots. I got a ridge that connects <clears throat> a smaller food plot to this food plot. Not only did we get a lot of rain, we got a lot of wind around here. These trees, a lot of these dropped this year. This is super high traffic deer area right over here and turkey. <clears throat> this back over here is where I got my 24 pound turkey this year. First day out, probably the first hour of the first day. Didn't have time to hunt, so I popped him. And that was it, but I would have shot him on any day. <clears throat> I can't believe how thick everything is growing up. It's crazy. distort you because all your trails are gone the trails you see had all last year and now I know this plot back here is probably doing pretty good I planted it about four days earlier this power plant but I don't think it got quite the amount of moisture these other ones did so the drainage was better or something because I'm hoping it's good anyway. Last time it looked like I had a pretty decent growth. It's only been a week since I've been in here. But <clears throat> I'm not breathing too hard for an old man. What that do to him? All right. <clears throat> yeah, you can see. Oh, it's starting to get taller. And the climbing peas are gonna look for them sun hemp and that sunflowers. And Look for something to grow up on. Beans. Jesus, look at all the deer tracks in here already. Not giving the stuff a chance to grow. <clears throat> you can get a better idea that you can see a tent on the ground everywhere, you know. It's just, it's everywhere. It's just spaced out a little bit, which it needs to be. If you plant like a green screen or a power plant, boy, your worst mistakes could be planting too heavy. If you're like me, more seed is better. But sometimes you go over something and it looks like you don't have enough growth, you know, so you go over it again. Well, a power plant or any kind of green screen, 
that stuff needs room to grow and if you put it in there too thick once it comes up yeah it doesn't look like it's doing much right now but when this stuff you know if it does come up like it's supposed to and it gets five six seven feet tall and start climbing around you know it could choke itself out if it's in there too tight same with that green screen the stocks get bigger you know look at the stocks on that big sorghum when it gets big you throw that stuff in there too tight and it'll choke itself out st and they'll start starving each other some guys that get them plots that are pretty stunted it could be a lot of reasons but some of them i saw on here is, look like they put all their seed down and, you know overseeded 10 times more than they should have bird egg of some kind that one ain't gonna grow up